Hey everyone, this is Lomi, and today I'm sharing how I did an eye-closing modification on one of the heads I recently cast for my BJD rune. I've started by mixing some epoxy clay, I'm using white milliput for this, and I've rolled some of the clay into a ball. I push it into the eye well inside the doll's head. You don't have to use quite this much clay to do it, but I like the idea of having lots inside because it makes things easier for me to manage. I push it in firmly, scrape off some of the extra clay, then roll up a ball for the other eye. Modifications are always intimidating, but this one is actually really easy to do. It's very beginner friendly, and the hardest part of the process is actually color matching the modification when you do the face up. Once the first bit of clay is pushed into place, I break out some sculpting tools. I have a few little clay shaping tools I use for this. These have a metal ball on one end and a rubber shape on the other end. There is one that's rounded and this one that's flat. I also use water because epoxy clay responds very well to using water to smooth it out. I begin the shaping process by first pressing against the clay from the inside to squish it through the eye. Then I use water on the shaping tool and my fingertips to smooth out the surface of the clay to ensure there are no bumps or creases. I always manage to get some lint in my clay, but that won't affect the integrity of the modification in the end. Since this little rubber spatula is flat, it's perfect for beginning to shape the eyelid line at the bottom of the eye. I use lots of water for this because the smoother it is in the sculpting stage, the less sanding I'll have to do to complete it. If you're really skilled with sculpting, you may not need any sanding at all, but I am not on that level yet. In addition to the black rubber tools, I also like this red dental stimulator, which you can find in most stores near the toothbrushes. This is also smooth and flexible, but it has a sharp point that's good for getting into that place we want the eyelid line. I use the stimulator to begin smoothing the upper edge of the clay, reducing the crease there to make it look more like the eyelid is closed. You might need to squeeze out just a tiny bit more clay to have enough to work with here. I managed to squeeze out a little too much on one eye, so I use one of my rubber tools to scrape the extra back off. After that, I switch to using a more rounded rubber shaper to smooth out that line, and I think I like the results I get with that one better. Your needs will vary based on the size of the doll you're working for, the size of its eyes, and the look you're going for too. After I get the extra clay cleaned off and the top edge is looking better, I put the line back in with my rubber spatula thing again. Running a wet finger over it helps that little ridge lay down, so it's just a matter of going back and forth between shaping and smoothing, shaping and smoothing until I have something that I like.
Most of the time when I share modifications and face-ups, I accelerate them so you can get through the process faster. But this time, I chose to keep all of my clips at normal speed so you can see just how quickly you can complete a modification like this. Aside from the curing time for the clay, it's realistic to think you might spend 10 or 15 minutes shaping the modification, then just however much time you need at the end to sand out any bumps or imperfections in the clay after it's cured. But if you're new to sculpting or modifying dolls and it takes longer than that, that's cool too. The important part is that you don't let yourself get intimidated just because you haven't done it before. If you've liked seeing this process slowly, let me know in the comments because I've been thinking about doing a face-up video that's in real time as well, and I'd love to know if that's something you would enjoy seeing since it's a little departure from what I usually do. Once I'm happy with the overall shape and the depth of the lid line, I use the tip of the dental stimulator to trace some fine creases into the closed eyelid. This isn't necessary, but I like the way it looks, especially after I brush some water over it with my finger to smooth it out a bit. I put the head aside for that epoxy to cure, and I can pick it up again tomorrow to check on how the modifications are looking. Since this head needed some other repair work, which I shared in last week's video, I decided to check my work by spraying the face with primer. This isn't necessary by any means, so don't feel like you need to do it. I just find that putting a solid color, such as a matte gray, over modifications really helps highlight any unevenness I might have missed. These look pretty good and just need a little sanding, so I sand with some 320 grit and then 600 grit sandpaper. Wet sanding with 600 grit gives me a nice, smooth finish that will be ready for paint. From here, the next step is color matching. I covered color matching a long time ago, so I'll include a link to that tutorial as well. And that's it! A surprisingly easy modification that drastically changes the look of a doll. Ready to color match and give a face up. That's all for today though. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.